In today's video, we will cover the basics of setting up Jupyter Notebook environment for SQL, writing and executing SQL queries, and finally visualizing the query results. For this process, we have actually six steps to complete. The first one is importing required libraries. The second one is creating a database connection. Third one is creating a middleware between SQL connection and SQL query so that they can interact. The fourth one is importing required tables as data frames. Fifth one is inserting the tables into SQL database. And finally, the sixth one, which is querying tables using SQL. So we'll start with the first one. That is import required libraries. Here we are going to import two libraries, which are pandas and SQLite. So the database we are going to use here is SQLite database. Import pandas as pd. And the second one is import SQLite 3 as SQL. Let us execute this. Now let us create a database connection. Let the connection name be db underscore connection. And for this, we'll be using the connect method of the SQLite 3 module. Equal SQL dot connect. Then we shall give a name for our database. Let us give a name new SQL db. So let me execute this. Now uh, there is some error. Let me check why. Module SQLite 3 has no attribute CONNET. So there is some syntax error. It is not CONNET. It is connect CONNECT. Now it should be fine. Yeah. Now we have created a connection. So a new database is created that is new SQL DB. Now we have to create a middleware between the SQL database connection and SQL query. For that, we'll be using the cursor method. Cursor. Let us give a name to the cursor, which is execute SQL. Equal. We are creating this cursor on the previous connection. That is db underscore connection dot cursor. And we don't have to specify anything inside the parenthesis. So it's just a cursor. Let us execute this. Now we have executed this query and created a cursor, which is execute underscore SQL which will interact with the SQL database and the SQL query. Now import the required tables as data frame. Now we are going to import the required tables as data frames. For that, we will be using the read underscore CSV method from the pandas module. Read underscore CSV will be using and the location in which the file is present is this location. I have already copied it. Now let me give a name to the table. New table equal to pd dot read underscore csv and inside parenthesis we are just giving the location there are a lot of parameters we can give inside read underscore csv but here we only have to specify the location where the file is present along with the file name this is the file name so which is a csv file so, so that is store underscore table dot csv now along with that let me run one more command which is new underscore table which will give us the table now we have imported the csv file as a data frame and this is our data frame which has five rows and four columns now we have to insert this data frame into our sql database for that we will be using the two underscore sql method the table name is new underscore table on this table we will apply the method that is two underscore sql and inside the parenthesis we can give a name which will be the name of the table in the database. So let us give the name as store table. So this will be the name of the table inside the database. Now the second parameter will be the connection parameter that is con equal our connection name is db underscore connection db underscore connection. And the third parameter is if this table already exists, it will delete it that is and replace it exist if exist and we are giving a value replace which tells that if the table is if this table is already present in the database it will replace the table and will create a new table let us execute this there is a error got an unexpected keyword argument if exist okay it's not if exist if exist that is exists i missed an s yeah so the table is created inside the database now let us try querying the 
table from the database using SQL. For that, we will be using the read underscore SQL method from the pandas module. Let us give the name as result for the result data frame and pd dot read underscore SQL and inside the parenthesis we have to specify the SQL query. So it is going to be a multi-line query. So I am using three double quotes. Now after this, let me write a select star on the table that is store table. Let us copy this name. Now another thing we have to specify inside the parenthesis is that connection. That is db underscore connection. So this is the query we are running on the database. Now let us execute this query and see what is happening. We have executed the query. Let us see the result. So we have the result. So basically we queried this table that is select star from store table. Let us add a where condition here that is where item in pen and book. Let us execute this. Let us see what is the result. So our query has been modified that is our now our result has only pen and book. Let us modify this query once again. So we will calculate the average unit sold when items are pen and book. So we will modify this query once again that is average units sold. We will rename the column as average units. Now let us see what is the result. So the average units sold between pen and books are 150. Similarly, we can write complex queries inside this read underscore SQL method and we can write uh, queries with joins, aggregated functions, ranking functions, window functions and any complex queries we can write inside this method. And this is very helpful when doing serious data analysis because there are some transformations which is easy to handle in SQL uh, than in Python. So it, it is very useful when we have this kind of methods where we can seamlessly switch between Python and SQL. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, subscribe our channel. Thank you.